Welcome to the first paint.net tu uh, tutorial. Right, so your first task is you've got to take the New York helicopter, sorry, the New York background and helicopter, add a new layer and place these two images together. Um, but I'm going to show you a couple of techniques to make that look a bit more convincing. Okay, so we'll just get started now with obviously trying to make the images look more convincing. Right, so... Um, now, the trick is in the exam, obviously, is, is that I do not want you spending literally loads of time on one thing, okay? Get the job done and do it well, okay? That's what you need to do. Right, so I've saved the images to my files. Obviously, you're going to get these images probably from the K drive. Um, so now we go to image, and what I want you to do is um, basically, sorry, not images, layers, import from a file so here's our background which opens up here and you can see that it's got some sort of selection around it push the escape key to deselect that um, now you might want to resize it possibly actually so we'll select it again and you see over here um, I move the hand to the corner and when I click the hand will grab and just basically make it a bit smaller okay so that is resizing the image and then I'm going to move the image up here so we can see it more okay right now I'm going to add another layer so I've got a layer here that I don't want I'm selecting that getting rid of it you don't want too many layers okay you really don't I'm going to make this layer our background obviously so add a new layer then I'm going to go to layers, sorry, image, no, layers, import from file, and I'm going to grab the helicopter. Here's our helicopter. Okay, so our helic helicopter's arrived, layer 2 still there, I'm going to delete it. Right, now obviously you can rearrange your layers here, so like I can move this layer here, then the background will be on top, we don't want that, we want a helicopter on top. Okay, all right, make this smaller again. Now, your job is basically to bring this helicopter into the image to make it look, I don't know what's happened there, to make it look convincing. Oh, I know what's happened. Okay, what happened there was you can see that I had um, the New York background selected. I need to select the helicopter. So we're going to resize this. You can see it's resizing now, so I'm going to make it small. Right, now, I've got to put this helicopter up in the sky and make it look like as if it actually belongs to the image. Okay? Right. So, make it smaller. And there we go. Okay? So, might want to rotate it, maybe. Make it look like as if it's you know, um, swerving all over the sky possibly, okay, but obviously it's not looking convincing at the moment, okay, and the reason for that is, is because you can see that there's a blue sky here and there's clouds in this, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two tools here called the eyedropper, uh, sorry, colour picker, and the fill bucket. Now, you can see here, they've got the colours here, like they've got the black colour and they've got the white colour. Okay, so what I'm going to do, is going to get this, um, this colour picker tool, and I'm going to click to select my background. Okay, which is here. But what I need to do first of all is actually select the New York background, that may help. There we go, and you can see that's turned to a blue sky there. Now, I'm going to get the fill bucket, and I'm going to drop that on here, on this layer here, actually, sorry, again, oh, you can see I've made a big mistake there, big error, so this is what happens when you don't actually select the layer that you're working on, okay, select the layer that I want to work on, which is the helicopter, and you can see now it's changed background, but, you know what, I'm still not happy with that, it doesn't look good, it doesn't look convincing, so what I need to do is remove the background. Now what I've done is, when I've done what I've just done there, I've actually made things easier for myself in terms of removing the background. Okay, because there's only one colour to remove. 
So I'm just going to zoom in here and I'm still selected on the helicopter layer here. And, oops, undo, there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the magic wand tool. Now the magic wand tool will have a level of tolerance which is 50% which is quite high because if I select my layer here you can see that it's probably selected parts that I don't really want it to select possibly because it's going to remove parts of the helicopter that's no good to me so I'm going to press escape there we go and I'm going to move my tolerance down to about 21 percent that's a bit better okay but I'm still not going to be cautious with that okay because if my tolerance is quite high like 62 percent when i push delete it's going to remove parts of the helicopter that's no good so undo right escape and i'm going to move that tolerance level down to about 20 18 to 20 okay that looks a bit better so if i push delete ah worked you can see that i've just got my helicopter there now so now, when I zoom out of my picture, you can see that looks a bit better. And then what you can do, in a way, is you can fiddle around. Okay, selected stuff I don't want it to select, really. Okay, background four selected. And then I can basically start moving the helicopter around when I can select it. Make it smaller, make it larger, but I'll let you guys do that, okay? Right. 